Let's talk about a New Orleans sandwich today. It's a big one. It originated with Italian Americans, but I'm putting it into the Hudak category for several reasons. First, it's so New Orleans. Second, it's great on the food table at a parade party. It also works well for tailgating before a Saints game. It's the New Orleans Muffaletta, spelled two ways. I'm heading down to an Italian grocery in the French Quarter to get the ingredients. Let's go. Every now and then, a really great sandwich comes along. In this colorful establishment, founded in 1906, Salvatore Lupo, who came to New Orleans from Sicily, began selling a hearty sandwich on muffaletta bread, packed with flavorful Italian food stuff. It was a hit, savored by tourists and locals ever since. You could say it was love at first bite. When the moon hits your eye like a bigger pizza pie, that's amore. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's amore. And oh, I need to ramp up production values because after the last episode, well, frankly, there were some complaints from my executive producer who said, well, let's just hear his remarks. Do you like this video? No. What? I thought you liked it. No. It's the worst show I ever watched. There is nothing worse than a boss who's a micromanager. Tasty layers that come together quickly. Just a matter of getting the ingredients. It's a good sandwich for a party, tailgating, or picnics. I figure you can make one for around $10 and you can cut them into eight pieces each. I'd rather do that than get muffaletta sliders that you see everywhere. With those little things, the olive salad drops all over. This sandwich is great with red wine. Bon appétit! Brucia la luna in cielo, io brucio d'amori, fuoco che si consuma come un lume cuori, l'anima che anci a dolorata, non si fa pace, ma chi malanta. If you like these videos and find them helpful, Please hit the like button below, share them with your friends, and be sure to subscribe because I post new videos about twice a month. If you have a request or any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments section. I love comments and suggestions.